This is the audio file. I'm going to be using the generate voice. I'm turning off my background music. So this way After Effects has a chance. So this way After Effects can focus all of its energy on just the audio. When you import the audio file, it might not exactly fit with the animation of the text. So we'll handle that in a moment. Currently, this is my audio file right here. I'll move it up to the top by clicking and dragging. And when I play... Hope is the thing with feathers. That perches in the soul. So whether it was a performer or voice actor, Having the audio track after you did the animation means that you're going to have to cut up the audio to match the animation and you might have to tweak the animation to fit as well. I'm going to delete it from here and I'm going to go within the composition. So this way any tweaking to the animation I could just do by dragging. I'm going to drag out here. The first way to approach this is just to cut up the audio file as needed. So, play out the audio. Hope is the thing with feathers. So, I can see the word hope is out on the screen. And I'm going to expand the audio and the waveform so I can see it. And I just want that word hope to be alone. Hope is the thing. I'll zoom in a little bit more, like this. Hope is the thing. So, this is hope. I'm going to select this track. On a Mac, it would be Command Shift D. On a PC, Control Shift D with this track selected. And the playback head position that, that first word, Control Shift D, and it'll cut. I'll turn off this new track. And let's see if I got the word hope. 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 Conceptually, generated speech sounds like an awesome idea. In practice, as a motion graphic artist, it really doesn't help us with animation much. It'd be great for a general timing of a scratch track, but if we're talking about something where there's a little emotion in the words, then you need a person, whether it's yourself, a voiceover actor, a friend, whoever to read you those lines. Read them in the way you already animated them. And this means you have to do less tweaking and pushing around keyframes and layers. Or someone who can inspire you when they read out your poem, karaoke, how to bake the world's best cookie instructions. That will lead back to you creating visuals to match the speech. So reading this, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetness in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chilliest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asks a crumb of me. This will save you a heck of a lot of time compared to having to move keys around. The voice track had to be cut out. And usually you're having audio lead just right before the visual shows up. And you're adding moments of pause in between the sentences to better match the animation. To increase the volume of all of the voices at once, I'll select all these, which are the trimmed clips of the audio. I'll open up the decibels. And I'll increase it to 10, which will increase all of them to 10. See? I'll listen to it here first. Is the thing with feather? Now go back to the main timeline again. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetness in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. 
I've heard it in the chilliest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asks a crumb of me.